Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me in the Tadamo fitting suite here at the Belfry. And we're gonna do a video looking at good leg action and a drill that you can do if you feel that you get a little bit overactive in the legs in the backswing. So what do we mean by overactive legs? Well, we know that in a good golf swing, there should be some movement in the hips and the knees as we make a backswing. As we move that club towards the completion, there will be movement in the legs. So if I take my setup this way, you'll notice that my knees and my hips have some movement as I move back. Trying to limit the movement is gonna limit your ability to make a full swing, and that's gonna limit your ability to hit the ball a good distance. So we want some leg action. What we are gonna be looking at today though is those golfers who may get, who maybe get a little bit overactive in the legs, who legs move around a little bit too much. Some people get a little bit too much rotation in the hips. That causes the arms and the club to go a little bit too far, and we can lose a little bit of control. So if you do feel that that is you, then this is gonna be a really, really good drill for that. All you're gonna need is something like a mid-iron, and your most lofty club, which in this case is, I think that's a six that I've got there. And that's all you need. So you're gonna do it to the driving range. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you to take a starting position with your mid iron. So just get your, your most lofty club ready. So take your starting position with your mid iron. And what we're gonna do is gonna take this wedge here. I'm gonna put it under the lead heel, okay? So I'm just gonna stand on that there. And what I'm doing by standing on that, I'm keeping the grip sort of up in the air. If I remove some of the pressure off my left heel, you're gonna see that club starts to drop, and if I were to continue doing that, it also would hit the ground. Now, if you have watched all my videos, or some of them, you may well have seen I did a, a drill probably about a month ago now, similar sort of setup to this, but with the right heel. So it's the same kind of thing, but we're doing this lead heel. So, as I make a backswing now, I wanna feel that yes, I've got some leg movement, but I'm keeping a certain amount of pressure on that lead heel to keep that club suspended in the air. If I have got too much leg action, Okay. My left knee maybe moves too much across to my right, or I over-rotate, I'm gonna find that heel comes up a little bit more, or at least the pressure reduces, and that club's gonna hit the ground. So it's just a really good way of trying to reduce this leg action without really having too many swing thoughts. Um, and that's why it's quite a good thing, because it's, it's not gonna have you hitting balls with you know, huge amounts of thoughts or ideas, it's just gonna have a really good feel for you. So, take your starting position. I've got the club under my lead heel, and I'm just gonna make a couple of swings and see if I can keep that in the air as I get to the top. Okay, pretty good. Now, as I got to the top of my backswing there, I started to feel that club moved a little bit. I don't know if you'll see that on the camera. I started to move a little bit. So it's a really, really good drill for, for shortening the golf swing and just trying to control the amount that the legs work in that backswing. Let me just do one more for you. It's gonna feel a little bit strange doing this initially because obviously you're your heel is a little bit raised up, but it's just gonna give you, I say, some good ideas as to what we're trying to do. So, and again, so keep a bit of pressure in that heel. And that was a better golf shot. So, what it'll do is it'll allow you to move the legs the right amount. Because as I said at the start, we do want that. We don't wanna limit the, the movement of the legs completely. But it'll just mean that the movement you've got in those legs is about right. If, if we start to get this lead knee moving too much across, that's really gonna reduce the, the sort of pressure we've got in that left heel. And if we start to rotate too much, you're gonna find that lead heel comes up a little bit. Just a little disclaimer here. If there are any people watching this who are maybe towards the senior side of the game, maybe don't do this drill. There are lots of golfers that I coach where I will actually encourage them to lift that lead heel up in their backswing because that facilitates a better backswing for them, okay? This drill is only for those people who feel that they're too active and maybe their swing is too long, okay? Don't do this if that, that lead heel is up and it's a good swing. Jack Nicholas, for example, possibly the best golf that's ever lived, he used to lift his, tray, his lead heel up at the top of his backswing. You wouldn't change that in his golf swing. So this is not for everybody, it's for those golfers who maybe have been told or maybe believe they've got too much leg action, the legs are moving too much to the right or they may be over-rotating and that's causing the club to get too long, okay? If you find that lifting that lead heel actually helps you achieve a better backswing, keep going with it, don't change it, okay? So that's just my little disclaimer there. So let me just hit one more. I'm gonna do this without the club this time. Okay. Okay, and that was a pretty good shot as well. So left heel felt like it stayed on the ground, and that gives me a pretty decent shot. Okay, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, if you liked it, then click the like button. If you've got any comments, you can post those in the boxes down below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And if you haven't done them already, then please subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free, the videos are free, so it's absolutely well worth doing. You'll just get a notification every time I upload a video, and you won't miss any of the content. 
Okay, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next time.